Do you use a laser camera for your project? Well, what the hell is a laser camera and what does it do? Well, I'm glad you asked. I have one with me here right now. Let me show you why I use it. There are two important benefits to using a laser camera. The first and biggest benefit of having an overhead camera is being able to precisely align designs for cutting and engraving jobs by seeing them right on the live camera feed. This really helps me in reducing the number of framing runs and takes out a lot of guesswork. Being able to perfectly align also allows you to nest pieces together and reduce material wastage. The second benefit is that with a laser camera, you can monitor your laser projects remotely through your phone. This is particularly useful for catching issues early on, especially in enclosed laser machines where you can't clearly view your project progress. Today, I have with me the laser cam from Minchin, which is a wireless laser monitoring camera. Unlike most other cameras out there, it has a built-in Wi-Fi that lets me wirelessly monitor the laser on my phone. Let's test this camera so you can see for yourself how useful it could be. Setting up the camera is really simple. All you need to do is download the Beagle Engrave app to connect to the camera over Wi-Fi, scan a QR code shown on the mobile screen and then follow the instructions on the screen and you're done. Now I can connect my PC to the same network and enter the camera's IP address. And this lets me view the camera feed on my large PC screen to make sure everything is aligned just right. Once properly calibrated, you'll get a bird's eye view of your laser bed, allowing you to easily position graphics, images, text and other design elements exactly where you want them. This increases positioning accuracy. You might have to carefully dial in the calibration sometimes, but it'll ensure your laser aligns flawlessly every time. When connected to the camera, I can also control the laser remotely. This is great for those times when you don't have your computer near you. The camera can send G-code files directly to the laser, so you can still do some engraving even without a computer. Minchin Laser Cam is a premium product in the laser camera segment and has many more interesting features like time-lapse video capture and fire detection. This is particularly useful if you want to show off your laser engraving jobs or if you want to leave the machine for a coffee break. As you can see, adding a camera can be a great upgrade for your laser setup. It's like having a high-tech baby monitor for your laser. Does this seem like a useful investment for you? Please let me know in the comments. Also, before you purchase any laser camera, remember to verify compatibility with your laser software so you know it will integrate smoothly. Most cameras out there integrate effortlessly with Lightburn. Talking about Lightburn, do you need an expert to train you in Lightburn every week? Then our Lightburn Masterclass course can help you. Now I know what you're thinking. Is this just another course? Well, it's not. What makes this course different is the live weekly session and the one-on-one -on -one support we offer in this course. We also offer a money-back guarantee. So if you don't like the course, you can get your money back. No questions asked. I'll leave the link in the description. Do check it out. Now let's get back to our video. Here are some important things to keep in mind before you buy a camera for your laser. A basic USB webcam with 720p or 1080p resolution is perfect for most laser setups and budgets. Higher resolutions are better as you will be able to see the work area more clearly. However, anything above 1080p is a bit of an overkill in my opinion. You also want a camera with a balanced field of view to capture your entire work area. If you use a wide camera, the areas around the edges might appear curved and if you use a camera with a really narrow field of view, you will have to place the camera very high to get a good view. This can sometimes affect the picture clarity or you won't be able to use an enclosure. Also, make sure your laser setup receives good lighting if you monitor the job progress a lot through the camera. Cameras like Minchin Laser Cam also work in low light conditions using its infrared night vision mode. Apart from Minchin, Laser cameras are also offered by brands like ComGrow, Atomstack and Lightburn in the $30 to $200 range, which should work well for most hobbies. Some of these are fully packed cameras that come with an adjustable arm, whereas others are just bare-bone camera module on a printed circuit board that you have to attach to custom rigs. These are more flexible and cheaper but takes more time to set up and configure. The Minchin camera comes with an adjustable arm mount that you can use to attach it to your laser or you can use the stand mount that comes with the camera to shoot time-lapse videos or for monitoring. If the brand of your laser sells cameras, consider those before looking into other brands. So that's it for now. 
subscribe to Melopine Lasers to learn more about lasers. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.